of her sin. You hear what God says? Come out of her. Who is that? Her. Babylon. Who is that Babylon? You are living in it. The great city of, of Babylon is here. It says, come out of her. Meaning, don't follow the things that they do here. The things that they do is against God's word. They're telling you it's okay to wear pants. They're telling you it's okay to go to church on Sunday. They're telling you it's okay to uh, 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 eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. They're telling you it's okay to have multiple girlfriends, multiple boyfriends. They're telling you it's okay same-sex marriage. This land teach you those things. Right. That's speaking against God's word. Show you something that's that's uh, visible to the eyes. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So God is saying the women are not supposed to wear that pertains to men. What does women wear today that pertains to men? Pence. Why? Because pence was instituted for men. It was not made for women. The same way you cannot have men's skirt, men's dress, you cannot have women pants, women, uh, uh, uh. No, men are not supposed to wear dresses. What did they call them? They didn't call them dresses. It, no, uh, garments. But we didn't used to wear dresses. We always have pants. So, I'm going to show you. What's that sis? When you think, even, even um, 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 not too long ago, even in the 60s, our sisters used to wear pant, um, uh, uh, skirts and dresses. Right. That changed during the, the feminist movement. I, how you doing today, my young sister? Come closer, come closer. We are here for you. We try to show a better way, because we're not doing well as a people. See, this is a perfect example for you, my sister. Watch this. When you're wearing pants, Guess who you train to do the same thing? The younger, the younger ones that are following you. Because they don't know. They follow what they see others are doing. But it was not instituted. When you look here, our sisters, even in the hot sun, they were wearing dresses. You know why? Because they understood that. Because when you wear pants, there's a spirit behind wearing pants. A manly spirit. It makes you speak very loud. You can stand um, men, uh, in, in, in front of a man think you can fight them. A lot of our sisters do that, not knowing that <laughs> women are supposed to have their, their position. Guess what? You tell me if I'm lying. Don't, don't, we be say, don't we be hearing sisters say that? If they say, I wear the pants in the house, what do you think they're telling you? They're the man in the house. Huh? They're the man in the house. Yes. So that means there's a spirit behind it. What grade are you in? Huh? You 19? Nine. Oh, ninth grade. Okay, so you 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 just start learning even okay, watch this. Again, give me um a Titus chapter two um and verse three. I'm gonna show you why it's important for you guys to be the the transcender of, of all this that's going on right now. Why? Because she's watching you guys and follow. Because our nation is in the bottom. And for us to have a, a strong nation, we need a strong family. We need a strong man with a strong woman to teach their young ones what God's required from them. Watch this. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged women likewise. Now, this message is for you. Okay? Watch this. Read it again. The aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. See that it says our women are supposed to be in good behaviors become holiness. Okay, read. Not false accusers. Not gossipers. And when you look in the media, they portray our sisters to be gossipers. You, you have your Atlanta our housewives. Those, that's gossipers. Our sisters are, are not supposed to be like that. But guess who she's going to learn it from? She's going to learn it from y'all. Okay, read on. 
not given too much wine. You can't be a drunkard. Our sisters are not supposed to be a drunkard. Because if you are, you'll be taken advantage of. By you drinking, you will be loose. Your mind is not going to be sober, and you will be taken advantage of. Right. You don't want that, my young sister. Listen up. Teachers of good things. God says you're supposed to be a teacher of good things. What is good? What is that good things that you got to teach? Because you got to know. If you don't know, what you think you're doing will be good is not good. Don't go away, sis. Don't go away. I got one question for you before you go. Don't go away. Watch this. Teachers of good things. Now, before she go, hold on to this, because I don't want her to go without asking her this. Who is this guy? Yeah, you do. That's him. Yeah, you do. What is this guy? Every church have this picture. What is this guy? You don't know who this guy is? Have you ever watched movie, uh, Jesus movie? Huh? Like those Jesus, Life of Jesus? Uh, they usually play on the Yeah, but this is what they this is what they teach us. Right. It tells you in the Bible what he does. What's that? I said it tells you in the Bible what he does. Okay, like, that's um, good. Who that's, painted that picture? Someone painted that picture. That, that's good. I was trying to point that out to oh, see yeah. where she's at. She's saying, you don't yeah, know who that is. You don't know who that is. You never seen none of these pictures before. Right here. That's Jesus. Yeah, I know. Because that's what they be teaching. Listen, I point this out for a reason. Yeah. This is not Christ. You've been lied to. Right. And that's why, I, that's why we're going over what we're going over. Now finish up the title, bro. I, I just wanted to get her attention. Yeah. We got one. Teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober. You see that God says that you may teach the young sisters to be sober, teaching them to uh, 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 not to follow strong drinks. Okay, read on. To love their husband. They have to learn how to love their husband. Because women nowadays don't know how to love their husband. They do things, whatever they think they, they think they have the, the most precious thing, not knowing that they were made to be for the men, not the other way around. Right. But the only way that's gonna happen, somebody has to teach them. Right. And who's that somebody? It started with you. Right. Starting with the same thing with the dress. You have to let go of the pants. My, my, my grandma never wear uh, pants. You know why? Because that's the custom. She never knew of that. She's old school. But America teach you to follow the way of this land. Right. And this place will consume you. Right. This place will cost your life. You can't follow this. I'm going to prove that to you. Hold on to that. Give me Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. You got you a question? Got a copy of it. It's in, it's in your flyer. Okay. It's in your flyer. Watch this, sis. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin. You hear what God says? Come out of her. Who is that? Her. Babylon. Who is that Babylon? You are living in it. The great city of, of Babylon is here. It says, Come out of her. Meaning, don't follow the things that they do here. The things that they do is against God's word. They're telling you it's okay to wear pants. They're telling you it's okay to go to church on Sunday. They're telling you it's okay to uh, 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 eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. They're telling you it's okay to have multiple girlfriends, multiple boyfriends. They're telling you it's okay same-sex marriage. This land teach you those things. Right. That's speaking against God's word. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. That's why God says stay away from her. Read. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. So you don't be partaking of her destruction. Because when destruction comes, they will consume you alone. Because you are doing the same thing that they were doing. How can you be how can you be daughters of Sarah? How could you be the seed of Jacob and you doing the things that the other nations are doing? If you're supposed to be precious, you do precious things. If you're supposed to be a, a, a princess, princess don't eat any kind of food. 
Because you were talking about uh, seafood. You're not supposed to eat seafood. That's good, because that thing gonna make you sick. It will kill you. You can't eat fish. I you can't I eat. that's the thing of the, of the city now. Seafood, everybody. Yeah, when, when I'm saying seafood, I'm referring to more like crabs, yeah. lobster, shrimp. Yeah. yeah, those things. You can't eat those things. Uh, the same thing with pork, you cannot eat that. Those things are what killing our people. And you know what else? Huh? God is showing you, you are above. To be above, you gotta eat good stuff. You can't right. be above eating stuff that are in the bottom. Right. It's the same thing with the dress code. You can't be above a princess and you wearing pants. Princess don't wear pants. I mean, to show you, it's spiritual. Everything that God says is spiritual, sis. You understand what I'm saying? So, the way you hold yourself say a lot about you. I just started with I, 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 I just told you. I, that's why I said my grandma never weapons. I believe that. But guess what, sis? You gotta go back to that. You gotta go back to that. Because you are you are daughters of Israel. You can't you can't act like the others. Now, having said all this, what do we have to do to get out of this? Give me second chronicle chapter 7, verse 14. What do we have to do? Knowing that we Israel, knowing that we're not supposed to eat shrimp, crabs, and lobster, lobster and all these stuff. And we're not supposed to dress any kind of way. What do we do now? Read. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. You see that God says, okay, since you know that scripture, I would like you to explain it to me. Just see where you at. You go and explain it to me. Okay, okay, sis, watch this. God says, if my people, that's already telling you that's a possessive word. How could that be for everybody? Says if my people that are called by my name, everybody's not called by God's name but Israel, right. shall humble themselves. Read that, finish it up. If my people, which are called by my name, uh -huh. shall humble themselves uh -huh. and pray and seek my face. You have to be humble. God says don't wear pants, you get rid of that pants. And you put a dress, you put a skirt. Shall humble themselves, read. And pray and seek my face. And seek, pray and seek his face, read. And turn from their wicked way. See that? And turn from your wicked way. Meaning, you don't do those things anymore. You start applying what God required from you. Read. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin. You see that? Then he will hear your prayers. So when you are in sin, God doesn't hear your prayers. Right. You hear that, sis? When you're in sin, God doesn't hear your prayers. So, today's what day? Today's what day? Today's Saturday. It's a Sabbath. You know where you guys should be today? Bring it up. At the school, at the church, and fellowshipping with like mind. And you know why? Give me Sirach chapter 37 and 12. Why you gotta be around brothers and sisters that are like mind? So we can continue teaching you what God's required from you. That's how you get yourself ready. That's how you'll be able to rehearse the righteous act. You cannot rehearse something that you don't know. Somebody has to teach you. Watch this. The book of Surah, chapter 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man. You hear what God says? Be continually with a godly man. It will tell you what that godly man is supposed to be like, We, Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. You see that? The godly man is someone that you know is keeping God's laws. And you can see them before your face. We follow as it is written. We are obedient to God's laws. Those are the people you want to surround yourself to because they're going to teach you the right thing. They're going to teach you God's laws. They're going to teach you what you need to do to inherit the kingdom. But you say to yourself, you put yourself in a bad position. Read. Continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. That's why it's important to be light around like mind. So what I will leave you with, moving forward, what will be the first thing you're gonna do? Get, there you go, get out them pants. What's the next thing?
Uh, next thing, next thing, sis, next thing. Today is Saturday. What your plan today? Well, I'd have been to church today when I came. Well, guess what? <laughs> the church that you were, the, the church that you came from, weren't teaching you your true nationality. Right. They're not teaching you who you are. And guess what? Just so you know, that's the last piece of I gotta show you because you said that. Give me uh, uh, um, Exodus chapter thirty. Uh, is it thirty-one and sixteen? That tell you Sabbath is only for Israel. Give me that. The book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 16. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. You see that? The children of Israel, the covenant was made for, this Sabbath was made for a perpetual covenant. It was not made for nobody else. So those that are Seventh-day Adventists, it's not for them. So you going to Seventh-day Adventist church, you're not following the right path. You come to our church and learn your true heritage. All right, sis? Uh, give me my... We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.